Hey guys, it's Noah. Um, I just want to make a quick video. I've done a lot of praying and thinking on this, on the subject, the searching scriptures and stuff like that. This is a hot button topic right now. It's very divisive. And, you know, let's pray and get in this word. Father, we come before you. We thank you. We praise you. We bless you. Bridle my tongue. Speak through me from the spirit, not from the flesh. If I veer off to the left or right, Bring me back on course, back on track. Bind me to your will on the subject. Give me and everybody watching your heart on this subject. Give us uh, uh, your plan, your will. Help us play our part. Fill us up with wisdom and the Holy Spirit. If we are indeed in Christ Jesus with a fresh wind, a fresh anointing, and we bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. Okay. The way I see it with Israel and Hamas and all this other stuff, okay? Jews, non-Messianic Jews, and Muslims have the same inheritance. They, they have zero inheritance at all if they don't have Jesus, okay? Okay. So when we look at a, 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 this thing going on in the Middle East, we just need to be good, wise judges, right? We have to judge fairly and look at what the Bible says and what it teaches, okay? The Bible teaches that the, the ones in the, in the wrong here would be the Muslims who claim a jihad over another people group because they won't conform to their ideology. Meanwhile, Jews allow Christians to believe. Jews allow everybody else to believe. In fact, it's in Scripture. You know, you're not supposed to be a part of them. But that happens as long as they're not uh, an imminent threat against them, right? So just, just by what's right and wrong, you would support Israel on those terms. And if you honestly look at it, I mean, that's their land, man. That's their land. That's that's what's going on. And they're and the Muslims are making a claim, a spiritual claim. It would be like Christians going out and making a conquest claim, just like you know, Catholic Church uh, imperialism or whatever it is, right? If you really work for God, God does it. You don't have to do a dang thing. You know, that's the truth. Like, you don't have to militarize this stuff. If God is for you, who can be against you? If he tells you to do something, you do it. Right? Like, I mean, all, all the stuff that I have on here is accurate. It's true. It's actually happened. I know it's hard to believe or whatever, but, dude, I pray some Satanist guy who's doing horrible things gets mauled by a bear. Right? Or, or whatever. Like, God will raise somebody up. Or people up at a certain time when when it's time and and when he's moving this is what happens the Christians started out as a small sect you know uh, 12 guys following Jesus and 2,000 years later before they tried to change everything up our entire calendar system was designed around his death right and resurrection so, like, that's what God does, right? And, and Islam goes against the character of God, allowing people free will and to do and believe whatever they want. And so, just on a, on a thing like that, like, but I don't support Israel any more than I support people in Africa getting martyred and killed and everything else. Like, it's the same thing to me. Like, who cares, man? Like... Who's, who's the instigator, you know? If you don't want none, there won't, you know, don't start nothing, won't be nothing, you know? Like, that's literally how I see it. And the rest is on God to fulfill Scripture. We don't have to do anything, right? Because his, his word will not fall to the ground. It'll be fulfilled exactly how he says. So, leave it at that. But, like, man, I... I got an email from some lady saying that, like, they're recruiting to, like, go fight in this war and stuff. Like, 
dang, like, do you guys know what's here? Like, here in America? There's a lot of Christians in America. What about that? Why aren't you jumping on to, to fight a war in America uh, against tyranny and oppression and people wanting to destroy us from within? And Like, it's just, it's just nonsense, man. I don't know. This is what happens when you mix politics with, uh, with uh, religion. It's not good. Be a follower of Jesus Christ. And let God work on the rest, man, because this stuff is, is that's foolish. So, I don't know. Those are my thoughts. And, and my thoughts don't mean anything. That's just, that's just kind of where I'm at with it. So, God bless you guys. Have a good day.